Here is the token Superman comic that I review to create the false illusion of variety on my channel. This is Superman 26. And this is an issue I point to as the start of my Superman collection. It's not actually the start of my collection at all. The first comic in my Superman long boxes is Bronze Age stuff. Jim Starman run, I think. And even when it comes to this period of Superman, I have issues before this. I have three Jason Byrne stories. And I have a bunch of issues just before this. But it is here where, starting with this issue... I have every Superman book for five or six years. Or the way I like to think of it is starting here, I have nearly every Superman book for about ten years. Up until the Jeff Noble stuff, I started dipping out there. And by the time we get to that crossover with the Galactus Man ripoff, that is pretty much where it ends after that. This issue mostly concerns a crime boss who uses voodoo to dispose of all of his opponents. Superman is brought in to investigate the recent deaths that have all kindly come with a voodoo doll as an accessory to clue the police and anyone else into the fact that these are not random deaths. There has been four of them so far and we have... We have some compelling bits with Superman being in disbelief that these murders are really from voodoo magic. So Superman sets out to try and solve the mystery and we get one of the routine catch-ups on all the events that have happened in the other Superman books. Or just the other Superman book. Because at this point, action and comics only sometimes add Superman in it. And now, the voodoo mob boss man, he has learned that Superman is looking into his organisation. He is looking into the killings. Another thing is that Superman is feeling tired and he thinks this is the result of a recent skirmish with Brian Ack. But it is setting up a thing for a few issues. And then the DC crossover Evasion happens. Aliens invade Earth. We get to see Lenny Luthor and Brian Ack react to this and then also the vigilante known as wild dog mourn him later and then the metro center gets attacked by alien invaders orkin people from the planet orkin world even though i have reviewed evasion before I didn't think I ever once explained that the alien invaders, chiefly they were the Domineers, but they had formed an alliance with some other war-ready peoples like Orkin World. So now it is time for Superman to fly into action and defend his city from invasion. So, we get some exciting action with Superman fighting Orkin people. 
I think of DC's crossovers, and I am talking all of them, every single one. I think Evasion was the one that worked both in terms of being its own thing and then its tie-ins. There were a few tie-ins that were shitty, like the Spectre ones. But it was a good, very accessible idea for a crossover that allowed writers to either expand on the crossover story or tell their own stories from stuff in it. This, for example, this makes sense. It is a good use of a tie-in issue. It's something that complements the main story, but at the same time isn't required reading. And neither is evasion required reading to understand this issue. While Superman is fighting off the invaders, the mob boss guy thinks that it is the perfect time to strike back at Superman and stop him from ruining his enterprise or whatever. Now, here is two pages that scream Son of Nimrod. We have Captain Atamant. He has been put in charge of the super-powered response to the invasion. Great role to prop this character up. Evasion did good by Captain Atom Ant. And here he is searching for Superman, but instead runs into Gladiator, the Captain America ripoff. We're not going to get any closer to a Captain America, Captain Atom Ant team up. So let me savour this moment. I do love how the Superman books always had such an expanded world to draw from. You have Gladiator and Project Pegasus. You have his bad guys like Brian Ack. You have other inhabitants of the Metro Center like Wild Dog. Wild Dog has come to crack down on the mobs and that guy who is using voodoo. Wild Dog, if you didn't know, he is just a guy who gans around and beats up criminals. He is... His relationship with Superman is a bit all over the place. Initially, he was more of an antagonist because Superman didn't approve of him or his violence. And then there is this story. But eventually, Superman and Wild Dog become more friendly. And Wild Dog's methods get a bit softer. And they are just allies. They team up from time to time. Or Wild Dog defends Lewis or whoever from bad guys. Wild Dog, created by Jeremy Ordinary. Make note of that name because big news coming soon involving him. <laughs> oh God, imagine if someone took that to mean I am interviewing them. <laughs> Fucking hell, no. I have got a Jeremy Ordinary comic I am going to hopefully wow you with. There is that Miracle Man advert I have talked about. The American Gothic one. I will date issue two of that series if you want to see it. There is some great underrated artwork in it. And I will never interview or collaborate with a comic book creator on this channel. It's 
it can become, I would seem like a shill. You're less likely to criticise and more inclined to blindly praise people you develop a working relationship with. And I really have no interest in interviewing a comic book creator. Except maybe and Master Erblin. But most of the interview would be about his YouTube videos rather than his comics work. So Wild Dog stops this prick, but after he used voodoo on Superman and sabotaged Superman's attempt to defend the Metro Center, and now Superman is presumed dead, he has gone missing and nobody can find him. Most of you are likely not nah, the twist that we're heading towards. But if you're different, I will not spoil it for you. But it's in two or three issues time. Good comic this one, but Superman is just consistently good from this point onwards for... For ages. Like way, way longer than any other comic or character has maintained a consistent streak of quality. No, Christopher Clairvoyant Excellent Men doesn't count. Superman is actually good, so I rate this issue seven thumbs up.